revised front fascia, new headlight setup, different wheel options, different color options, new infotainment. The 2025 Audi Q7 came to play and we have it here done in way to more blue metallic for the first time. Let's take a look at Audi Lakeland and what the Q7 is all about in the 55 TFSI version for this model year. A storm is coming, and I'm not talking about the weather. I'm talking about this 2025 Audi Q755 TFSI Quattro, the new 2025 but in way to more blue metallic. Yes, we have it here at Audi Lakeland in Florida, and I want to do a spin around, show you guys what's new for 2025, the options and features of the three-row SUV, and show you everything you need to know about the specific packages, because we got three big ones here that you guys are going to need to see in the sticker breakdown. Big shout out to Audi Lakeland here in Florida for letting me take a spin around this 2025 Q7. If you guys are in the market for any of these models, make sure you check the link in the description for their website, see their inventory, get their phone number, do whatever you need to do to get one of these Audis in your garage today. Now for 2025, Audi gave this three row SUV some styling refreshes with a reworked grille, revised headlamps, updated tail lamps, new exterior color options, and a fresh new set of wheel designs. The Q7's cabin also has been enhanced with some new upholstery and trim and choices with the infotainment system being updated to include app integrations like Spotify and Amazon Music. And when we mention dimensions for the Q7, well, we're looking at a wheelbase of 117.9 inches, a length of 199.3 inches, a width of 77.6 inches, and a height of 68.5 inches with a total curb weight of 5,003 pounds. Now, when it comes to power for the Q7, well, we have a turbocharged, intercooled, 24-valve V6 aluminum block and heads with direct fuel injection. And this front-engine all-wheel drive, seven-passenger, four-door vehicle will get you a horsepower of 355 horses with a pound of torque at 369. And that's going to be with the eight-speed transmission. So with that said, that auto tra automatic transmission will get you from 0 to 60 in about 5 seconds flat, 0 to 100 in about 13.5 seconds, 0 to 120 in about 21.1 seconds, and a top speed limited at around 130 miles per hour. Now, would you take a look at this beautiful thing because 2025 is good to the Q7. I mean, wow. The way to more blue metallic looks like a deep blue right here and it very well is, but when that sunlight comes out and hits it, it gives it a metallic flake that just is unmistakable when it hits it just at those right angles. You will definitely see it in a completely different light, no pun intended. Now, with that said, the front fascia has been changed up for 2025, so you get a fresh new look for the Q7. And with that said, we have a couple packages on this thing, like with the Intersight Audi rings we'll see, the black optic package, which is gonna give a lot of the trim pieces, the black finish, and then obviously the wheel setup and everything like that. So looking up front, you guys will see the big front grille and the surround is in gloss black all the way down coming through making that circle complete and then inside you will see the sensors on each side there all right with your camera there and then you will have those intersight audi beam rings there as you guys can see that setup is all feed through all right you guys will also see that it's functional there all right so it's not just there for styling it's actual function as well for this grill up front now at the lower half of the grill, you will also see this plastic setup here just to keep things protected so you don't have to worry about paint with the very lowest part of this SUV. Now, coming along the side, you will see that gloss black continuation over here to where the side blades give a really cool look. And again, it's not just a visual effect as this is actual pass-through. So you guys will see that that will actually help with cooling for the radiator there. And then you have more sensors right here on the side as well. So really cool to see how they changed up that style. And then you guys will see these illuminated shortly, but those are laser lights there, sequential lighting, amber reflectors because you know america we gotta have the amber reflectors but all of this looks so good when you put it all together take a step back and take out the new front fascia for the q7 let me know what you guys feel about it does it look more aggressive does it look meatier 
does it look like it will eat up the road? Now the side profile looks just as good. And you can tell that this thing, well, it's pretty long. It's got that wheelbase and you can tell that it's a three row SUV. Now with that said, we have a package on here that's gonna give us, well, we have two packages. One gives us 20 inch wheels. The other one, which trumps it and overtakes it, gives it 21 inch wheels, which you're seeing here with the gray matte finish with gloss black. So these are the 21 inch wheels with obviously those Audi rings right there in the center. And you guys will see that these are cross contact LX Sport Continental tires, two wrap this leather or wrap this leather wrap this rubber around this uh wheel here now with that said the wheel wells are also done in the same way to mow blue metallic and then you go down the side skirt and it's also done in way to mow blue metallic but you do have the quattro insert done in black as you guys will see here going across with the quattro lettering embossed in there now looking up top you will see door handles and the mirror cap are also done in the way to mow blue metallic and as the sun starts to come out you will definitely see the glimmer and shine in this paint color which looks so good now also with that said you will see the gloss black window moldings you will see the B pillar says Audi Q7 TFSI Quattro, just in case you forgot what we're looking at here today. And then you guys will see the B pillar also done in a gloss black. Now, if you look up top, we have the black roof rails and we have a big glass roof because we have a panoramic roof there as well with the Waitomo Blue Shark Fin Antenna. Take a step back, see that side profile again. And yeah, that looks executive, that looks boss. Now, as you guys can see, the way to mow blue is starting to come out a little bit. The sun's going in and out. We're going to have on and off showers, so just bear with me. But it's coming out a little bit to show the brightness of the paint a little bit more. And with that said, you can see the Anthracite Audi rings there. Right in the rear, you will see the integrated third brake light there. You will also see that we have the side slats here going off the spoiler here. Done in gloss black. The beautiful laser tails with the black insert going all the way through underneath as a strike through from one side to another in a continuous line, which I love that aspect of it. Also, you will see in the rear diffuser, before that we have the reflectors and the reverse light there with the honeycomb style fox grill, hiding some sensors in there, going all the way across with the rear diffuser done in a hard touch plastic. Same thing with uh, the exhaust surrounds, as you guys can see, dual exhaust tips done in a horizontal flavor, and then the tow hitch there. Yeah, we're we're hitching some things, we're pulling some things today. It looks really good with the black Q7 badge, putting it all together. That is a sleek and sexy rear of the new Q7. Now, when it comes to that fuel economy, you're looking at 2018-23. That means 20 combined city and highway. 18 city 23 highway and it's probably best to put premium fuel in this thing just to give it the right juices now when it comes to cargo well for a three row suv you do get the option of putting that third row down now with the third row up you're looking at about 15 cubic feet of space but that's not the case here because we do have the third row down if we wanted to raise those seats i can actually press the button here you will see it looks like Frankenstein because it looks like the cargo mat is moving on its own. Since the cargo mat is in place and the ground is currently wet, I don't want to take it out right now um, like I did on my first 2025 Q7 video showing off that third row. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure you guys check out the previous video that I did on the Q7 for 2025. That will do, do a deep dive into the third row. But as you guys can see, tons of space when that third row is folded down. We have the cargo net here as well, floor mats, all that good stuff here as well. But the storage is crazy. And if you guys can tell, well, when the third row is up, this will be your armrest for your third row passengers. And you can see that there are cup holders right here for both passengers in the rear as well. Now, also one obstacle you would need to move is the privacy shade here as well, because this, while it works very nicely when it is, you know, folded down with the third row, you would actually have to move the brackets out, which is very easy. You can just pull up and pull out. Um, and then you would have to move the uh, privacy shade as well when that third row is up. So keep that in mind as well. We do have extra storage on the sides here, as you guys can see. A little bit of an indentation there, but that's just mainly for the light and to maneuver things. And then if I were to lift this up, we do have a false floor. So underneath the cargo mats, you guys will see, there we go. All right, we got a couple of our tools, tire inflate kit, 
all the good stuff underneath here so it's not necessarily extra storage just a way to hide things very nicely to make a perfectly leveled floor for your storage up top and for your third row passengers when those seats are pulled up now of course i gotta show you the illumination because audi does lighting the best and as you guys will see those laser lights look perfect obviously with the sequential turn signals there you guys can see doing their thing but wow those are some beautiful eyeballs right there <laughs> now with that said we also had the turn signal as well in amber in the mirror cap and then the led tails those tron like laser led tails looking beautiful with the sequential turn signal there as well look at how beautiful that looks guys take a step back soak it all in Audi just kills it in the lighting department. Now, before we hop in, let's check out the key fob. As you guys can see, it has the glossy black backing with the lock button here, the trunk release here, and the unlock button here with the Audi rings. And then the surround on the outers is gonna be done in aluminum with the physical key button here. Actually, if you press that, that will pull out a physical key just in case the key fob battery dies and the panic button right up there up top. Now I hopped right in this beautiful Q7 as the rain comes and goes. Uh, we are inside because we want to stay away from all of the rain. So to keep dry, let's just hop right into this beautiful cabin. As you guys can see, black leather all throughout this thing and the gloss wood trim. So let's first start it up by putting our foot on the brake and pressing the start stop button here. Now we are to live. Now we have some good things here. 10.1 inch touchscreen, 8.6 inch screen underneath that. Bangin' Olsen sound system with 23 speakers. I mean, come on, this is a great spec when it comes to the Q7 for 2025. Updated and looking beautiful. Now, as you guys can see, the door panel per usual tells us a lot about our spec. Now, as you guys can see, we have the soft touches for the plastic up top, but then we have the nice kind of, I wanna say leather at feel right here in the center with the leather on the armrest and the stitching throughout there. You guys will see that gloss wood trim on the trim level here, right above the bezels of the door handle. And then you will also see the lock unlock and the set for your memory seating. You will see your window controls, your mirror controls, and your child safety locks there as well. With right underneath having the trunk release. And then you can see the hood release down there with the Q7 on the mats there. And then you guys will see it. Well, you can kind of see, <laughs> but there is rubber floor mats underneath there with the rubber pedals. There we go. That's a better view. <laughs> so the rubber pedals underneath there as well. Now, throughout this cabin, you'll be able to see a lot because we have a beautiful panoramic roof letting in what light we do have here um, as the storms pass by us. But it's a great place to be. We can see the soft touches up top with the stitching as well. Quattro and this beautiful gloss black that seamlessly integrates into this 10.1 inch touchscreen for the infotainment screen. And you guys will see again that glossy wood finish right here through the center glove box right there as well. And with that said, well, we got a couple of things we need to talk about. The steering wheel done in nice leather with the stitching here as well. And then obviously we have our controls here for radio, for views, for the menus. Same on this side, but hands-free have everything there as well. And then we have our stocks like our light stocks, our driver assistance stocks, and our windshield wiper stocks with paddle shifters that are steering wheel mounted right there as well with the Audi beam rings there and nice aluminum stock right there in the center. We have our lighting controls over here, as you guys can see, all right? So, and then underneath that, you have a little bit extra storage just in case you wanna put your license, registration, all that good stuff there, just in case you need that for some spirited driving. Now you guys know this system very well as it's been updated to include app integrations like Amazon Alexa, Google, as you guys can see, Amazon Alexa is right there. Um, but it's nice that they've updated the MMI system, but this is so smooth, so silky, and this system is just really flawless. I love, I love the way that this screen looks and it's haptic. So I keep messing up because I tap it, but you actually press it. You can hear the click. 
but it's not actual clicking buttons, it's clicking the screen. It's so cool how they do haptic controls. But yeah, you guys know this system very well and how it all works. Then we have down here below it is our, I don't wanna say comfort screen, but it does have our creature comforts like our heated and ventilated seats, as you guys can see there. We also have the rest of our HVAC set up here as well with our seating controls. And you will see that if we go here, we can press start, stop, and turn that off. We have hill descent control right here. It just goes for our home address for navigation. Press this here and you will see the home link for the garage door and then press that there to turn off the actual screen itself. All right, now with that said, right underneath it, you do have a couple of things like our drive mode selector. If I were to press that, you'll see drive modes pop up. So you guys will see the different drive modes like off-road, comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. Traction off button here, hazard button there, and max front and rear for the HVAC. You also have, yes, parking camera right there letting you see and the glare is not helping but it lets you see our beautiful parking camera with 3d yes 3d you can see us out here in the rain chilling in the parking lot 3d controls i love how this system works that is so cool again the glare is not helping so i apologize about that now you also have your driver assistance here so if i press that actually let me get out of the all right, now press that. Now you guys can see the driver assistance screen pop up as well. Then you have our quick radio controls there. Start, stop button as we saw. We have our cup holders here, 12 volt plug-in. We also have our gear selector. So you guys know how that works. This is park. All right, don't get that confused with actual gear selector here or the electric parking brake. So that gets us into drive. Okay, we move it up. Sorry, move it up, go into neutral. Move up again, go into reverse, cameras come up. Then you press this for park, all right? And then this is for your electric parking brake right there. I really love the armrest because it has an extension here where I can pull it out like that, right? Or put it out like that and then pull up. All right, so depending on what you wanna do, and as you guys can see, we have a wireless charger there and two USB-C plugins right there as well, if you guys can see that. And then obviously extra storage here, just probably good to put your keys if you wanna set those down here as well, or you can set them right in there, however you like to do it. But I do like that you have the extra storage tray like that to, to do that, that's really cool how they set that up. So really cool, look up top, you will see the controls there, and I'm not sure how well you can see those, but the controls for your sunroof there there we go that's a little bit better all right so you see the controls for that you can see your floodlights sos buttons um everything like that and then you have a visor here with a cover and a mirror right there as well so obviously when the cover is put away the light turns on so yeah it's a great place to be per usual now we got to check out the digital instrument cluster as you guys can see tons of different things we can do here when it comes to this instrument cluster as far as customizations you know view let's check out the view look at that we can change what's in the middle what's on the sides just by going between all the different options so you see i put navigation in the middle there i mean come on this is so cool how you can change all that driver assistance so it just depends on what you want to do and how you want to do it for this so actually if i go back to the navigation now it will put it right there look at that full screen ahead. And so it's just really cool just by pressing view, going left and right between these. You can select different options and stuff here. I can zoom in here by using that roller screen. Um, I mean, it's just, it's cool to be able to just control it with these three buttons and do so much stuff when it comes to customization in this thing. This interior, this tech, it's, it's everything you need. Now, one benefit that we have at the moment of the rain kind of raining us inside of the car, our lock-in, is we get to see the interior lighting for once. So since it's a little darker than what it normally is when I shoot these videos, well, we don't get a chance to see interior lighting. So for the 2025 model year, let's kick it off. So you guys will see right here that we have red. You will see right here along the center cockpit, we have red. And then you will see it on the other side of the door and on the rear. Now, we got different flavors here. So, under vehicle, you go into light and visibility, and then you will see exterior, interior, and rain sensor. So we wanna go to interior lighting, and then you guys will see our different selections, and we can turn up the brightness. So, let's go to vision. All right, vision is gonna give us more of a, I'm gonna say like a bright white-ish. What would you say that is? Not like a bright white, but like, uh, like a soft white kind of maybe and then you have solar 
which I'm assuming is gonna be, yeah, more of a orange flavor here. All right, you guys can see it. And then Impulse, which gives us the red, which we were just on. So Impulse is gonna be in red. And then you have Mari Time, done in blue. All right, and then we have, oh, let's turn up the brightness on that one so you can see a little bit better. There we go. All right, now the brightness is up. At night, when it's completely dark, it's gonna be really bright. Um, Caribbean gives us more of a turquoise, and let me turn up the brightness right there so now you guys can see it a little bit better here. Again, it's still in the daytime, so it's a little harder to see without the brightness all the way up. And then let's go to Audi Drive Select, and that will let you you know do individual how you would like it. Let's turn up the brightness here, and then click on individual all right and we can change how we want to do the surface and the lines and everything there so again it's just really cool to have the interior lighting be shown for the first time because we never get a chance to really see it now we're gonna hop inside of the second row yes second row remember this is a three row suv and while the third row is down because we have a cargo mat i will show you guys by just that easily letting down the second row one of the seats you can see that we have buttons here to raise our third row we need to do it from here but as uh, like i said that cargo mat there is definitely blocking us from doing so but you guys can see the seats there so you guys will see that we do have a third row um, i did a full review on the first q7 for 2025 we had here and i did all three rows Make sure you guys check that out if you guys want to see the kind of space there is between the third row because I'll give you a hint. Basically what you see there is the kind of leg space you're going to have for the most part. Uh, lifting these seats will provide you just a little bit but not much at all when it comes back there. Now the seats themselves fit you very comfortably but the leg space is very minimal when it comes to the third row. Around 138 cubic feet of space when it comes to total, total passenger volume. So. There's still a lot of passenger space, just a little bit of leg room in the third row. But as you guys can see, if I press these buttons here, it will lift that up. So you guys will see kind of what we're talking about when it comes to leg space, because that's pretty much it when it comes to your leg space in the third row. So without putting that all the way up, you guys will kind of be able to see it right there to start. But now hopping inside, you see that we have the nice floor mats to keep these wet feet from getting any of the carpet dirty. You will see the black seats, perforated leather in the back as well, like you saw up front. Let's hop inside. And you can see I have plenty of knee wiggle room here. I mean, I'm nowhere near touching the backrest of this seat. I do have some nice stowage here when it comes to the cargo net as well. LCD screen for our HVAC controls here. When turned on, you will see everything illuminated there. You will also see the same materials in the door paneling as you saw up front with the wood, the Bang & Olsen sound system, which is important because we got a lot of speakers. I mean, the speakers even in the pillar here. Again, that thing is a stack when it comes to speaker setup. And then you guys will see also, look at that little pocket there. <laughs> we also have um, the aluminum uh, gloss wood. We have the vent shade here for protection from the sun, from privacy, anything you guys want to do with that there. All of it's in the rear here. And again, that natural lighting up top is definitely going to help with visibility back here just in case you guys need it. Now, keep in mind that even though this is a center seat out of a three row vehicle, it still acts as an armrest and as a cup holder, all right? So you still get the same creature comforts with this thing that you normally would. Now I'm gonna ease my camera down here cause it's a hard place to get to, but we do have two USB-C plugins and a 12 volt, just in case you need to do so down there, plug everything in. But again, this is a good place to be. The second row is pretty spacious, pretty comfortable, has all your good creature comforts. And I would imagine that if you do need the third row at any point in time, you will definitely be able to fit the six comfortably inside of this Q7. So no complaints when it comes to seating inside of this thing. Now let's talk about the sticker of the 2025 Audi Q755 TFSI Quattro because we start life at $65,800. But after our $10,000 worth of additional options plus and the $1,195 destination charge, well, you're looking at a total price of $77,800. Now, how did we get there? Well, we have the Way to Mo Blue Metallic Paint that starts us at $595. 
Now, also keep in mind that we also have black interior, but that is included in this package. Now, you have the Premium Plus package, which gives us $3,800 to the sticker, but you get 20-inch five double-spoke wheels, all-season run-flat tires, Bane Austin sound system. We also have heated steering wheel, illuminated door sills, LED interior lighting plus package, top view camera system, and wireless phone charging pad. Now we also have the executive package at $2,300, which gives us dual paint occlusive glass for the side windows, four zone automatic climate control, heated rear seats, power lumbar for front passenger seat, sunshades for rear doors and tailgate, and traffic sign recognition with ventilated front seats. Now we also have the last one, black optic package. 21 inch five double spoke module design wheels, matte gray finish with that, all season tires, Interside gray, Audi rings, Audi rings, sorry, and black exterior trim with dark chrome exhaust tips. Then we have the trailer hitch at $750, Audi beam rings at $495, cargo cover at $385, and Audi guard protection kit at $380. So after all of that, you have your standard equipment here, which is comfort and technology here. Make sure you guys zoom in on that. Actually, I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see that. See if it focuses in. And then you also have safety and convenience and warranty and maintenance. Now keep in mind 12, year, 12 years, 50,000, whichever comes first. 12 year for the corrosion and preparation and four years roadside coverage as well. Make sure you guys check the link in the description for this full listing so you guys can see all this stuff in the most detail as possible. But what do you guys think so far about the 2025 Audi Q755 TFSI Quattro? So what did you guys think about this 2025 Q7 in weight to mode blue metallic at $77,000 with options? Did we spec this out perfectly with the right options, with the right packages to make this the perfect Q7 for the 2025 model year. Drop those comments down below. I wanna know what you guys think. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, but subscribe to the channel. Check the links in the description if you wanna help further support the dealership or check out their inventory with their website link and phone number. And make sure you guys click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.